what's going on guys so i'm at this house the unit that we installed about six years ago homeowner did not want the 824 thermostat installed he wanted the honeywell t6 installed and it matched the one on the second floor well he's going to replace the second floor system it's going to come with a t6 or a new train thermostat so he wants the original thermostat for the downstairs that he has kept in a closet now installed and wants to move the T6 up to the third floor heat pump that has an older Honeywell thermostat that's a unit that's original to the house. Um, he's trying to tell me that we installed a two-stage system. Yes, we did. We installed a two-stage furnace, but it is a single-stage outdoor straight AC. So I always love it when I'm right and they are wrong. But look at that. Nice and crispy. So we get to collect a little extra money today. Now well, capacitors under warranty. We do charge a warranty price to replace capacitors. capacitors but it's kind of interesting what you find you don't expect it you're just coming to swap out some thermostats and I, think I gotta do a little airflow balance too while I'm here maybe we'll shoot some of that but anyway nice and crispy you gotta love it when you find something extra all right so now we're up here doing airflow balance for the guy this is the second floor it's got a closet in there see this whole area right here goes all the way back across there comes back across here comes right back under here that gentlemen this whole area back here is the closet for the master bedroom it's a walk-in closet it's a regular sized bedroom in most houses so that thing's not blowing any air there's another one in the master bathroom that's about half the size of this room probably about the same almost actually it's not blowing any air so this was turned back a little bit the one in the laundry room was blowing wide open he wanted that one off the guest room <laughs> it's almost a guest room up here is way back there and I'm not scooting all the way back there, but this main duct over here ties into that one. And he wanted that room turned back. It's blowing wide open. And the bathroom for that room, there's just three or four bathrooms, three bathrooms upstairs on the second floor. Uh, anyway, so since this main line feeds both of those, I just turned it back right here. And that should cut back that bedroom and that bathroom simultaneously. Now, these are rooms that are not really used all that much. One of these goes into the little foyer area under us on the second floor. But, uh, so right now, I've got to get back to that box there. And check any of the dampers that are on that and make sure they're not turned back because that closet comes off to the left and then that bathroom is the one scooting back there in that corner. So I went back there trying to find got about a foot and a half of damn insulation blown in here. I went back there, all those dampers for that closet, that bathroom and the other closet in there for the bathroom are, are open. This line feeding it is open, so somehow I've got to get more air to this location. I mean, it's on the end of the plenum, unless this damper's out of whack for whatever reason. I mean, it's there's your little line, so that's. Sometimes you can you actually turn it at an angle. That damper will actually grab air and sweep it in here. If you turn them back this way, that air is coming across. 
and if your damper is sitting in here like this, it'll actually deflect that air. This one being on the end, it's taken a lot. So I'm wondering if I turn this where it's this way, and then as that air is coming through, it'll grab some of that air and deflect it back into this duct, and then turn this one back some. That might get me the air I need. And in turn, I can open that one back up if I just turn this one back. And that's the one that's feeding back around to that room. So if I turn that air off here, instead of over there, I might be able to get more of that air to go into the path of least resistance, basically, and at that point, and get back to that area where he wants it to be. So let's try that and see how it works. So that helped a pretty good amount. So now we have this one. This one feeds around to another room and another bathroom that are back over here. Now I'm up in the third floor. This is his third floor heat pump. And there's a big vaulted area right up under us, above this. So if you were to cut a hole through here, you'd be looking all the way down to the first floor. So he has those big high vaulted cathedral type ceilings. But there's a room off this back corner of the second floor and it's humming pretty good. <clears throat> the box that feeds that room, that closet, and that bathroom is coming off of this run. So I'm gonna take this one. And then we're gonna turn it back a little bit and see what happens. Not all the way, about halfway. As he said, that room's not used, that area's not used very much either. And I explained to him this is kind of subjective. This may help him out a little bit, but the main living space is back over here, and that's where he, he really wants to get a little bit more air there. But I've got to do it in a manner where I'm not gonna overheat this thing in the winter time and cause issues with sweating or this coil freezing when we start running the air conditioner so uh, i didn't promise him anything but i'm just making some adjustments to see what happens and then i'll you know we'll take it from there but i don't want to i'm not gonna close everything down but this thing moves got quite a bit of air so there's a little bit of little bit of leniency it's not like i've got a ton and a half unit and i'm turning half the airflow back this is a four ton system on this floor or three and a half i'm sorry so i've got some airflow to work with i just don't need i'm just not going to shut anything completely down i'm trying to get most of it you know a little bit more volume of it back over in this area back here so Let's turn that back a little bit and just see how much that reduced that room and if it improved this area and if that gave me just a little bit extra over here than what the first adjustment did, then it's going to stay where it's at. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. All right. So my other guy's outside. He's here doing the maintenance on these three systems today. I just came out here to swap a thermostat out and then do this airflow balance which he got that capacitor taken care of in that unit but luckily the downstairs is not going to be quite as complicated as the upstairs he just wanted this unused bathroom right here it comes off of his downstairs office there's an upstairs off matter of fact that third floor is a th is a one big office actually so and then he wanted the the little half bath off the downstairs hallway turn back and come take another piece of pendulum strap yeah 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 look at that this drives me crazy let's put the pendulum strap right across the top of the arm that has to be used to make airflow adjustments 
Come on. Anyway, I can get a little bit of movement out of it. I'm going to turn it back. It's, it's just a bathroom they don't use for guests. And the problem is they've got that vaulted ceiling for the downstairs. It goes all the way up through the center of the house and all the the downstairs heat just I mean it's house design there's not a lot you can do to fix that and then when they did the upstairs the third floor unit they didn't really they should have run across the back wall they've got those big picture glass pane type windows that do all this and they really should have tied in a supply on each corner of that vaulted ceiling up there off of the upstairs system the third floor system so that when it runs it gives you a little bit of cool air into that area or when the heat runs it delivers a little heat into that area to try to make some kind of a pocket to keep all the downstairs heat from rising all the way up there but it's it's just house design they want these fancy houses and they want the nice look and the vaulted big ceilings that are two and a half stories high and then they turn the downstairs heat on and wonder why the downstairs won't stay warm because all your damn heat is going 35 foot in the air that's that's why it won't stay warm but anyway all you can do is make little adjustments and uh, and i don't know give me a ranch house I don't want two stories, three stories. I want a nice, large ranch house. Maybe with a basement, that'll be okay. Uh, but I climb enough stairs at work that I damn sure don't want to see them in my house when I get home. But anyway, this is the crawl space. Not that bad of a crawl space. I mean, it's you see it goes way on, on, and on, and on. Back that way. Around another corner and back, so but uh it's not bad easy to work in get around pretty pretty good got a got an s9v train furnace down here and then there's our there's our coil and our drain lines and all that good stuff so anyway drain line runs out of the back of the house so anyway i guess that'll do it for this one just uh, airflow balance and a thermostat swap out. You guys have a good one. Appreciate you watching.